I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years. But no one stumped me more than the princess. Shopping is like a high for me. It's like a release. I love shoes. I love facials. I love to buy beauty products. I love to shop for clothes. It's like all I think about. <laughs> I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next six weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. It's very easy for Jennifer to take advantage of people. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver. And I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. Don't you feel like a total moron? No. No. I can't wait to end this show. No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Jennifer. My name's Jennifer and I'm 30 years old. I'm a dental assistant and I make the, I don't know, I don't even know. <laughs> In her job, she has the potential to make up to $60,000 a year. While she's nowhere near that income bracket yet, you'd never know it judging by how she spends. It's like power, it's like you have the money to go buy something. She has problems with finances. She definitely spends a lot. I love shopping, oh my god, it's like a high. I love to buy beauty products. I love getting like facials. I go at least once a month to a spot. I love to shop for clothes, shoes. I love shoes. I don't really keep track of any of my expenses. <laughs> if she gets bored at a job or if she gets annoyed with something that's happening, she'll quit right away. And because Jennifer shops no matter how much money is coming in, she was finally evicted from her apartment due to unpaid rent. If not for her best friend, Jennifer would have been homeless. She was sleeping on our couch for a while. We did charge Jennifer rent while she was there. Uh, she still owes us. The only way Jennifer was able to get into a place of her own was by borrowing money from her family for the deposit on a new apartment. Basically, whenever she asks, if I can help, I help. While her mother acts as her personal maid. I'll ask my mom to come over and I'll say, while well, you're here, <laughs> do you mind changing the garbage and changing the cat litter? <laughs> Once a week, you know, I help her with the, the cleanup. Thank you. She seems to always relying on someone to bail her out. Give me more? No, that's it until payday. Oh. I'll like guilt trip her, whatever. It's really putting a dent in my mother's finances uh, when she gives her money because my mother can't pay her bills. I don't know, at the time, like, I just don't seem to care. You know, I just want the money, you know? <laughs> yeah, if they're gonna do it, <laughs> take the stress off my back, like, why not? and Jennifer's financial stress is escalating. I get collection calls all the time. Her enablers don't want to see her evicted again, but they're sick of footing the bills. So they've called me to confront her about her financial mess. She's definitely gotta learn some form of responsibility. You gotta stop this, you know. I took Jennifer to the place where she spent the last few months sleeping on the couch, her friend Jody's house. You consider yourself to not be a princess. People have called me princess before. I thought they were being really? sarcastic, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what Jodi has to say about you, because she's devoted to you. Oh, yeah, she's nice. I don't think Jennifer feels guilty about any of the money she borrows from people. I think she believes, uh, this is what I need, it's your responsibility to give it to me, and that's just the way it is. I had no idea, like, that's what she thought about me. You're completely dead weight. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> My father passed away November 25th of last year. It did hit her really, really hard. Uh, I might be part of the problem because I kind of don't let her fall, right? And uh, it's very difficult for me to say no to my sister. I put m my long-term goals on, uh, on halt for a bit, you know, I, because I think she's gonna get out of the rut that she's in. It's so sad. So I'll help her out and kind of give up my long-term goals for right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you disappointed? With myself, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you be a better sister? Yes. Could you be a better daughter? Definitely. And what would it take for you to be the person you actually want to be? Taking responsibility for myself, yeah. Is it time now? Yeah. <laughs> Think so? Yeah. Jennifer is currently working and living on her own, and I'd like to see things stay that way. For my plan to work, I need Jennifer's family on board. It's time for her mother to find out just how much cash Jennifer has been throwing away. Do you have any idea how much debt she has? I think it was like 12,000. 
<laughs> he has almost $22,000 worth of debt. Oh, my goodness. So you owe student loans that you aren't paying back, and you owe credit cards that you aren't paying back, and you want a cell phone that you aren't paying back. You're not paying anybody. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? I don't know. Jennifer may not know what's going on, but I do. This is how your needs and wants look. You spent nothing on debt repayment. You put nothing in savings. Mm -hmm. You spent $37 on your needs. And you spent $1,400 almost on your wants. Mm -hmm. Can you see how self-indulgent this makes you look? It made me realize like how bad my problem is. It gets worse. Even though you have the potential to make a good living, because you leave your job at the drop of a hat, last year, your total income was $8,000. That's how little you worked. I can't be right. You're a major case freeloader. Mm -hmm. To live the way you are currently living, you'd need to make an income of $47,000. And to live the way you're living and get your debt paid off, you need to make $61,000. Okay. If, in fact, you weren't sponging off everybody else, if you were paying your own way using credit to fill the gap, mm -hmm. you'd be going into the whole $2,500 every month. Is this what you want for Jennifer? No. Are you going to keep handing her money every time she comes to your house? No. Are you sure? Positive. This month, you're going to learn to stand on your own two feet. Okay. You're going to learn to live within your means. Okay. No whining, <laughs> no bitching. This is about taking control of your money and your life. If you do the challenges I give you in the next few weeks, to my satisfaction, and if you have the right attitude, mm -hmm. I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you towards a goal that you're trying to achieve. Okay. If not, you don't get the money. Okay. Clear? Yes. So this month you're going to stop shopping. You're going to stop being a major freeloader. And you are going to figure out what you owe so you can pay it back. Oh, God. Do you have your credit cards and your debit cards here? I'm going to take those from you. And the debit card? Everything. Coming up, Jennifer faces her filthiest fear. I don't want to go in there. We need you to wear this once we get oh. inside there. Oh, like the wind's blowing the wrong way. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. Jennifer is a 30-year-old dental assistant whose sporadic employment has left her with a meager income and a hefty debt. I spend my money since I get it. <laughs> I've taken away her credit card. Now she has to prove to herself and her family that she can stand on her own two feet. You have $150 that has to last you the whole week. Food, transportation. Don't spend it all in one place. OK. This is gonna suck. She left me like $150 for like a week. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I have for you the Princess Plano. You're gonna make your budget. The instructions are right here. Making the budget, figuring out a way to like pay off my debt with the number she gave me. It's gonna be a lot of work and I don't do numbers. You actually get your mother to take out your garbage because you're too much of a princess to get your hands dirty. You're going out with a garbage collection crew? Oh my God. I'm gonna submerge you what? in so much caca. Are you serious? I'm deadly serious. <laughs> in her current job, Jennifer could make up to $60,000 a year. But because she's happy to let others support her, she earns far less. Today, I've sent Jennifer out to see what it's like to work hard for her money. Jennifer shows up to her challenge sporting a $450 parka, $300 boots, and a $150 purse. Hardly prepared for the job ahead. Jennifer. You're a little late. We got some junk to move. Maybe this will help her get real about her situation. Oh my god, that's a lot of garbage. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. We need you to wear this once we get oh. inside there. Do you have any other colors? I look awful in yellow. <laughs> do I have to do this? It reeks in here. There's like something weird on the ground here. Like I was stepping on this big piece of chicken. Oh. Do you need help with that? Oh. This is like immersion therapy, I guess. Make me like do a disgusting amount of like touching of garbage and then I'll be okay with touching my own garbage. I can't believe she did this to me. This place reeks. Jennifer may have put out the trash, 
but now she needs to make sense of her messy finances. She needs to make a budget and a debt repayment plan, but with debts and collections, she has no idea how much she owes. So this week, she's going to apply for her credit report. For obtaining a copy of your personal credit report, please press 1. I had, like, so many credit cards that are, like, maxed out. <laughs> please wait while we collect your information. After a week of hauling her own trash and living on a budget, I wanted to check in with Jennifer to see how she was managing. So now are you taking out your own garbage instead of making your mother take out your garbage? Yes, I'm the only person taking out my garbage now. So was it hard making the budget? Um, at first, I didn't understand it. Did you balance? Did you come out to zero at the bottom? Uh, no. No, you're negative $245. <laughs> yeah. And in that second, I realized no, I didn't balance it to zero, but I was supposed to. I remember just when she mentioned that. You're going to go away and make another budget and make sure it balances, right? And you're going to follow all the instructions and make sure you have emergency fund money and savings in that budget, right? OK, yes. Did you get a credit score? Yes. I did not feel good looking at my credit report. Because you have garbage credit. Mm -hmm. Of the five accounts you had, mm -hmm. Four have gone into collections or into what we call major derogatory. Delinquency, yeah. So what are you so happy about? I'm a happy person in general. I'm like really optimistic. I don't know, it doesn't like really get me down. I'm an optimist. <laughs> You're delusional. Coming up, will I ever get through to Jennifer? I <laughs> am at a loss for words. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. Jennifer's a dental assistant who spends less time working than she does shopping. To supplement her erratic earnings, she's becoming a first-class leech. Well, I've been helping her out with rent. Her friends and family wanted to stop. They've called me in, and I have six weeks to get this princess living a life she can afford. It's been totally unpleasant so far. Already I'm going through shock. I'm so grumpy. I'm like so bitchy lately, and it's because I don't have any money. I have no life, you know? And I can't borrow any money from anybody. I can't borrow any money from my mother, and that's like a large part of my budget, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm just basically like being responsible now with my own money, which is good. It's just kind of like I have to get used to it, that's all. You know, if I wasn't in a good mood, I would go shopping and I'd feel better. And yeah, it's been taken away from me. Let's see if she's done any better with her debt repayment plan or version two of her budget. So what do you have to tell me about this? You redid um, your budget? Yeah. Yeah? It was like a huge eye-opener. I don't know anything about budgets. That's my experience with a lot of princesses. Okay. <laughs> Despite her very ditzy appearance, she created the very best debt repayment plan I have seen from any of my princesses. It was thorough. She followed through on all the aspects that were required for the plan. I mean, it, it, it sang. And it was so easy to see, like, once I did it, how easy it is to, like, manage money, how everything fits together. Great job. Thank you. So your mom and Jody have joined us mm -hmm. because they want to see how you're doing. So now we come to your next challenge. This is your give back challenge. You owe Jody, mm -hmm. and you owe mommy, and you owe your brother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he has dreams too. You need to draw him 12 $300 checks. What? He wants to go to school. This $3,600 over the next year will go a long way to getting him to his objective. So it's time to give it back to him. Okay. It just sucks. Every challenge is so challenging. <laughs> a very overwhelmed Jennifer set out to pay back her debts, starting with her friend Jody. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and next, she had to give back to her family. The idea of her learning from paying somebody back debt that she owes, um, I feel that it's a good learning experience. Whether or not she follows through, Jennifer started off by reading a letter of commitment she'd written to her mother. Um, to my dear mother, thank you for your loving support through the years. Since doing the show, I've come to realize that it'll be better if I take more responsibility for myself financially from now on. So I promise not to ask you for any more money. There you go. Signed. <laughs> but I have agreed also that uh, I will no longer support you financially as this has hindered your ability to lead an independent lifestyle and by relying on your abilities, experiences, it will give you a sense of freedom. She wrote this really sincere letter. It was like really insightful and like, I would like to be able to stick to that contract because I don't want to have to borrow money from people, from anybody. 
I want to be able to support myself. So EJ, the second part of my challenge this week <clears throat> from Gail was to pay you back some of the money that you've lent me over the years, $3,600, and Gail wanted me to write out 12 checks to you. This makes 12. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank Gail. She's the one who, like, made me do it. Wow. God, because I, yeah, I definitely would not do this if I wasn't forced. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the money. Spend it well. <laughs> My hard-earned money <laughs> that I don't even think I owe you. I'm just going to keep them in a safe place and, uh, and see, see what happens after that. <sighs> Although she completed my challenge, it's clear to me that her heart wasn't in it. So far, Jennifer's had questionable success. To check in and issue Jennifer's last challenge, I decided to meet up with her at one of her favorite locations, the mall. So has your mom taken out your garbage? I've taken out my own garbage. It's not so bad, is it? Don't you feel like a total moron making your mother come over to take out your garbage? No, I can't wait to end this show because then she can go back to taking out <laughs> my garbage. I <laughs> am at a loss for words. I'm just being honest. It's always one step forward, two steps back with Jennifer. She best give me everything she has on this last challenge or she won't be seeing my $5,000. And so we come to your temptation challenge, which is why we're standing in a mall, but you're not going to get to go shopping. Okay. Instead, what you're going to be is the voice of reason. You're going to be a mini-me. What? <laughs> <laughs> you have to find some shoppers, use the information you've learned so far, and educate some shoppers on what they may be doing wrong and how to do it right. Okay. Jennifer has a lot of trouble restraining herself, never mind others. So I knew that asking her to rein in other shopaholics would be tempting fate. I don't want to, like, censor people. Like, you know, they're shopping and they're happy. And I'm, like, bringing them down, making them feel guilty. Like, what's that? But just when I thought she was on the cusp of blowing it all, she hopped on board. So you guys went shopping this morning? We did, yes. Yeah? What did you get? Four shirts. I bought a new swimsuit. I got a couple <laughs> shirts. Do you have swimsuits already? Uh, I do have swimsuits already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so why are you buying another one? Because it's nice to have a new one to go on vacation with. How many shirts do you have? 30 to more than that, 40. Really? Yes. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> Probably 80. You actually shouldn't have more than five of any one item. Um, just because, like, you wouldn't be really wearing them enough to, like, um, justify it having a new wardrobe or spending the money on it. So 80 is, like, I want to say astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> and did you pay for it on your credit card or I, cash? I did, yes. Do you know the interest rate on in your credit card? Mm, I can't remember. <laughs> I, like, actually used to not have credit cards until I was, like, 25, and I, like, maxed them out. Uh, it ruined my credit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my credit report is awful now. So. Did Jennifer's wisdom have an impact? How do you feel about your purchase now? Guilty. Guilty? I'm having a bit of buyer's remorse. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I did start to think about my purchase a little more than when I first walked out of the store. How they could have been saving my money and putting it towards something else that I actually need. I learned a lot from her, actually. <laughs> I was surprised to see how many of my lessons Jennifer had actually absorbed. She convinced shoppers to take back several hundred dollars worth of merchandise, but will she stick with it? I do think like I need to treat myself though, because I've been pretty good. <laughs> Coming up, my final verdict. I'm not convinced. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Six weeks ago, Princess Jennifer shopped like a maniac. And when she ran out of money, she put it on credit or borrowed from family and friends. Fed up, they called me in. I forced Jennifer to be self-sufficient. I challenged her to pay back those she's taken from. Perfect. And to share what she's learned with others. And how many shirts do you have in your closet? Cool. Since meeting me, she's managed to keep a job, an apartment, and a budget. But before I give my final verdict, I wanted to check in with Jennifer's mother and best friend to get their take on Jennifer's transformation. So do you think there's been a big change? Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how big a change? Um, I would have put it at like a 7. And what do you think is the biggest change you've seen? That she doesn't ask me for, for money. Because she has the wherewithal to make anything of her life that she wants to. She's smart, she's good at her job, she makes good money. There'd be absolutely no reason whatsoever that she shouldn't be able to make it on her own. Well, let's tell her this, OK? Mm -hmm. Come and join us. I think I've made a huge improvement. The one thing I think that really changed my whole attitude towards money 
was doing the budget. Um, and it was great. Um, I really didn't want to do it, and I was very reluctant to do it. Um, but I'm glad I did. So how do you think you did this month? Um, I did all right. Well, let's go over it, OK? You came through on the Mall of Temptation really, really well. OK. But you showed up to take out the garbage in your high heel shoes. And I'm not convinced that you're going to actually make your brother take the money. So my big problem is I'm not convinced that you aren't just going to go and take whatever I give you and go shopping. Or that you aren't going to hit mummy up because I have a sense that you yourself are not convinced. I'm afraid. Like, what if I do say that? And then, like, something happens, and, like, all of a sudden, I do it. I'm going to feel really bad if I went back on what I said. So what will you do with this money when I give you this money? Ideally, I would pay off um, my debt. And how much were the total number of checks that you gave to your brother? What did that add up to? It added up to 3600 This will help. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. I think you have the potential to have a great life. You earn good money. Mm -hmm. When you put your mind to it, you are a smart girl. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see you focus more on things you can do. Don't get distracted by the shiny new things, okay? Okay. I didn't do it for the money in the first place. I was happy to do this. I got so much out of this. I mean, it's worth for me to pay $5,000, not to get $5,000. I'm going to be better no matter what. Maybe not perfect, but definitely better. I'm, like, forever changed by this. Tell, I can tell she loves to go shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. Yeah. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.